I find as far as from like an aggressiveness standpoint? Um, well, I, I, I didn't think that we were aggressive at all the first half. You know, we tried trapping the post and staying connected with the bigs. And when you do that, you take your most aggressive guy off guard on the perimeter, which is KJ. So we, we decided to go back and, and switch four and just let Hunter be a designated trapper. And they didn't get to that a lot. So, so uh, uh, I actually thought we did a, a pretty good job second half. We def Statistically, we really defended and, and turned them over a few key times. And, and then offensively, was we really executed, I thought, you know, last seven or eight minutes. You feel like your guys, you know, they were really second off the first half from kind of Darius' guys. Is, is there, Our guys were? No, yeah. no, no. Their, their oh, guys, Indiana. Indiana, the yeah. way they were playing defensively. Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 you know, they, they had six feet in the paint, a lot of possessions, it seemed like. And, and uh, you know, I told them before the game, I told the guys, guys, we're not going to win the game unless we make some shots. And, and uh, I actually thought the first half we got a, some good looks behind the arc and didn't make them. And uh, we missed some layups, and we didn't really – I don't know what we were from the free throw line the first half. I thought it was bad. Uh, uh, but I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's broken down on the stat sheet. But, yeah. but was it? Six for ten. Yeah. So, so we gave up some opportunities there. But it was an eight-point game that could have been three or five, but it also could have been thirteen or fifteen, because they had some transition opportunities where one time McKenzie it went off his foot when they had numbers and some stuff like that. So, I told our guys we just feel feel fortunate to be down eight, and eight still very manageable and play well the first eight minutes. And if it's anyone's game. And, we didn't play well out of halftime, but we certainly played from about the 14-minute mark or whatever. I thought we played really well. You got your closers to finish all that. Is that just the value of being experienced, older dudes? I, I, I think so. I, I think, uh, you know, we got the ball to hunt where we wanted to get the ball to hunt when we needed to. Guys drove it. We got to the bonus. Guys drove it more when we were in the bonus and got to the free throw line. And, and Kevin, obviously, I didn't think he had a great game offensively until the game was actually on the line at game point, then he makes a huge three, and then he, you know, he basically dominates the game offensively for us the last three minutes or whatever by driving the ball and getting to the line. So, and Juan's floater game came back. You know, he's such a good floater shooter and had made him this year, but he came back and looked to score. And I thought Jamari and Omarco gave us good minutes. It was just a, it was a hell of a team win. I mean, it's great environment. What a place to play. Uh, I've been here three times in the last, 22 years or whatever, and it's as good as any place. And we left out of here happy twice, and we were very fortunate to. But that's a, that's a that's a great atmosphere. Bill, there was your first lead in the second half. I think you um, you ran a play. You kind of slowed him down. It was loud. You got him to um, it ended up a high low from, uh -huh. from Kevin to the uh -huh. runner that yeah. you had called. What what made you call that that there? It was actually Coach Townsend's call. Coach Townsend told me in the timeout, he said, you want to try Utah. And, and uh, uh, the team had already left the time, that left the huddle, so I just yelled out him to run Utah after we got the ball. We usually don't do that. Uh, we usually, I don't like calling plays after uh, live rebounds. So, so I can't remember if it's a live, I think it was a live rebound, I don't do that very often. But, but uh, you know that, you've watched this play enough, but I thought it was best to try to get a touch right where he wanted it. Bill, you mentioned Hunter, what do you just think about Hunter generally tonight? I thought he labored the first half. I didn't think he played as, as near as well the first half. He's four for 11, and he could have easily been eight for 11 or nine for 11. I mean, guys, those are shots he makes. And, and uh, I didn't think his ball screen defense was terrific the first half. I thought he played pretty darn good the second half. And what Hunt does, as you guys know, I mean, takes pressure off everybody else. I mean, it's great. So uh, uh, all he's got to do is wave his arms a couple of times. And, you know, now, now everybody else gets confidence because he's got confidence, you know, so that was good. When well, you've got guys struggling like that and, and, and KJ's bringing energy, bringing offense, production, all that stuff, can you, do you want to play through that, play through him? I mean, Play like, through KJ? Yeah. Well, we do. Yeah. We, I mean, if you, if you watch us, we try, to, we try to short roll with him and have him play, do a lot of things where he's actually the facilitator. Uh, you know, he had three assists today and – you know, KJ six of twelve, but God dang, he missed one that was nobody was even around him missing a layup, and then he missed a couple of others that were contested. But those are very makeable. But he's playing the way I want him to play, yeah. and, and uh, I'll be honest with you, Hunter's playing the way I want him to play too. And, and we played Hunter away from the basket in the second half to open up driving lanes. 
you called a couple timeouts in the first half. Indiana was rolling. Obviously, the atmosphere was really loud. Like, how were you able to kind of keep the game within uh, striking distance, even when Indiana was rolling like that? Well, it's a long game, and, and uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I think I don't think we played particularly well the first half, but I think we made a, enough plays to keep it close. And I also like to my point earlier, Indiana had a couple of opportunities that got away from them because of our good fortune, not because of our good play. Uh, 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 so we were fortunate on a couple of things, but but uh, uh, also that that game could have been a closer at halftime too if we had played it, you know, just done a couple of things just a little bit better. What do you think was going on with Hunter first half? And, and is he just the type of guy that just can flip it in a... Uh, I think it's basketball. Yeah. And I think they're human beings. And I think sometimes they make shots and sometimes they miss the same shots they just made. Uh, kid, kid's playing 38 minutes. You know, he's, he's not coming out. Uh, uh, you know, so I thought, you know, to me, he played like an All-American the second half, even though his numbers weren't outlandish. But guys, getting getting 14 rebounds, I mean, he's basically averaging that. Uh, and he's going against two legitimate big guys. He's not going against one, he's going against two. And, and, and uh, uh, I think Ware's good. I think he's talented. I think Renault's really talented. And, and uh, you know, they, they both played well. And Ware had 15 rebounds. But I thought Hunt did a good job for the most part knowing it's kind of one against two in a lot of ways when you come to, you know, standing high. Hunter mentioned Kentucky and thinking back to that one when you were down and, and had to find a way to dig. <clears throat> Is this that type of game, too? Two months from now, you'll those guys can look back at it and say, maybe, maybe. Yeah. This was a harder game. Yeah, uh, in large part because you're playing on the road instead of playing in a neutral place. But yeah, there was a lot. We were down 14 to Kentucky, uh, uh, and but it, the game just felt different. Like they controlled it, controlled it, controlled it, controlled it at 10 or, or 11 or 12 or whatever. But then when it gets to six, it's like, oh geez, we're just two possessions out of this thing, and you know, and that's kind of what happened on that today. Can you start with a true freshman point guard today? What do you expect Dana out of Cubs, and what did you see when you? Well, I, we, did, we, did, we didn't affect him. I mean, we didn't impact him, turned it over. I don't know what he, he ended up doing uh, uh, in that way. He had one turnover, so he handled he handled it well. Uh, uh, but I will tell you this, when, when he's able to be a backup and they get Xavier back, that's going to be a, a much better basketball team, too, because I think Xavier's a really good player. Bill, excluding today's victory over Indiana, what is your fondest memory about coming back here coaching it? In Assembly Hall. Well, the my the the last time I came here, Coverdale Fife and Hornsby went 16 and 21 from three. And the thing I remember most is I got a chance to meet John Melody. That's what I thought was a highlight of, 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 of the deal. He actually sent a note back to me after we just got beat 30, saying, "Hey, I'm playing in Chicago if you ever want to come." <laughs> so that that that's probably my fondest memory of this place. Up until today, uh, uh, I, 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 I think this place reminds me of KU a lot. Yeah. History, tradition, people respect it. Uh, uh, I mean, that, that, that's two true blue bloods out there for you. And I, I think that you can kind of sense it's different here than most places where you have to manufacture the, 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 the atmosphere. Here you don't, and you don't have to in Kansas either. And, and so it just felt a little different in that way. Fun game to be a part of. Bill, just through the play for Mari, I mean, he has to play a ton of the last couple games. He comes in, puts a big three, has a nice assist. Um, can you just talk about how big that is for him to come in in a moment like that? Yeah. And make that three? He, he, he did a couple of other good things. You yeah. know, he, he tried to make a play when it wasn't there. Sometimes he wants to do too much, but he made a great pass in the first half and, of course, sticks that big three, guards pretty well. Uh, uh, and he, he went to the offensive glass one time and forced a potential five-point play. It didn't end up being that, but forced a potential five-point play. So, yeah, he's doing well. I'm getting more and more confidence in him. There's so much made of Hunter and getting booed and, and him liking that and, and the way he reacts to it. He obviously handles it fine, and, and he just talked about how much he likes it. Do you like a guy like that that, that is on your side and can handle all the boos? And, and You know, the reason he's getting booed is because anything he's done in Kansas. Right. It's because of something he did. Or, or, or the appearance of doing it in Michigan. And yeah, I've, I've known Hunt for, for a, ever since going back to the under-19 under team uh, uh, when he 
tried out to, uh, or it's an under 18, I can't remember, but, but uh, I, you know, I like, he's not disrespectful to anybody, he just has fun with it. Right. You mentioned Kevin kind of becoming a focal point of the offense. What did it say about him he was able to do that even with playing with four fouls for so long? Uh, I don't think when you get under three minutes, anybody thinks foul problems. I think everybody thinks, let it go. And so, uh, uh, I don't. I don't think offensively he played at all, thinking that he was in foul trouble. So, but he was aggressive late. What about Galloway? How good? He was great. I told him after the game. I mean, he's great. I'm, you know, he's labored shooting the ball this year. Uh, uh, and last year he shot forty-five percent from three, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, so he's a good shooter. He just hadn't shot it great. And I thought he played great. You know, it's easy to say take away his right hand. He still got to his right hand every time. So. Uh, you know, 28 isn't a isn't a, 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 a respectable number for us that we did a good job at all. I mean, he got the best of us, but I think he's good. I think he's good. Your, your vets have all done this, um, but but for Jamari and, and Furphy and, and El Marco and those guys to get this first true, true road win, I mean, what can that do, do you think, for, for them and feeling this and experiencing it? Uh, well, I think uh, I'm glad we played at Illinois. Exhibition game probably helped us a little bit, and, and uh, you know, we're growing up. Uh, uh, big deal is, you know, we talk about a lot of guys, but still the one guy you should focus on is Dewan. Uh, he was Dewan Harris today offensively, and he's got to be able to do that for us. And when the ball's in his hands, seventy percent of the time, uh, and he, for the most part, can make sure we get a shot. Uh, I think he did, or deserves a lot of credit, even when other guys may be getting the shine because uh, uh, he gives us a lot of confidence. All right, Coach. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.